person here. This is the human-like element. They're reaching out, they're kind of close. On all of the, the intersections, the traffic lights. It's about making it more human. And we say that, um, so what does that really mean? Well, it means anticipating what drivers, what other drivers are gonna do, anticipating what pedestrians are gonna do. Um, it's about making sure that we're keeping the humans inside the car comfortable. So the car knows where it is, but maybe we're passing something closer than a human would feel comfortable with. So we need to bias in the lane a little bit. can actually see the pedestrian's legs moving. It knows exactly how much space there is between it and what's next to it. So we can pass very close to it, but a human in the car makes them uncomfortable. They say, hey, maybe we should have a little bit more space there. So the technology doesn't need it, but for humans to feel comfortable, we need to bias over a little bit. So that's where this kind of human element comes in. to change the world. This year we come back with a program that is 30,000 rides strong. So it's as simple as opening up your Lyft app. And if a self-driving car is the closest car to you, we will send that car your way. For a Lyft passenger, this should feel as simple as opening up your Lyft app. And self-driving is a mode like any other mode on our app. So you can take a classic Lyft ride or a shared Lyft ride or a self-driving ride. And what we can do is make smart choices behind the scenes about where a self-driving ride is going to be a safe and comfortable ride for a consumer to take. And that's really how you transition this into something that is real for people. Right is, we know how long it's gonna be in a certain state. And that um, in addition to the camera view that we have. Taking over here in a minute to pull over, or to pull into the lot. In Nevada, the legislation is very open. It allows for a lot of companies to test these cars if they want to. And so we're seeing many, many cars driving around fully autonomously or at least partially autonomously showing off these systems and how they work. Ultimately, at this point, though, it's more of a PR demonstration than anything. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva! Thank you, thank you, Moses. Rock and roll, baby.